Alright, so uh, this is a deck profile from uh, Mr. M Trash. Uh, this is going to be on my uh, new Monarch deck that I've been playing for the new format. Um, it props to the guy that topped the YCS Charlotte with Frog Monarchs. Um, I don't know, I took some ideas from his deck and uh, rolled with a couple of preferences that I have for mine. Um, but yeah, I am test. I am uh, tech teching a card that a lot of you guys might have been talking about, if not uh, already playing. Um, you'll see that in here, and I'll explain why I'm playing that. So uh, let's get started with the deck, guys. All right. So I play one Spirit Reaper. Um, I think Reaper is really good in here, just because of the fact that free pokes are really. If you get them off, it's really good. Um, it's really good against Samurais. Um, it's decent against uh, Sabers and. Um, Dragoonities in a way, just because you can set up and for a turn, and then you can just go off next turn. So I play one Reaper. I play uh, three Vanny's Fiend. The reason I play three Vanny's Fiend is because if you basically get this card off against uh, Sabers, against Dragoonities, um, really any deck that uh, other than Gravekeepers, it's almost an auto win, especially if, since we only have a book at one. Um, you really only have to mainly worry about backfields, and by that time, you really don't care, because they're going to try wasting so many options on it just to get rid of it, so. Um, I play three Chaos, Staple, and Frog Monarch. Uh, I play three Ryza, also a Staple. Um, I play two Treeborns. Um, I don't like the fact that the guy that topped played three of them, um, just because I don't want dead hands with it. Like, it's obviously good if I get a Swap Frog, but not for, like, late game. It's not really, or er, like, early game, it's not really that good to draw into, like, three of them. If I can draw two, that's fine. I can deal with it, but drawing three can just cause really, really bad hands. Um, I play one Fishborg. Um, I'm thinking about moving it up to two um, and taking out the Reaper. That would be the only card that I would take out for it. Uh, but I like Reaper too much in it and so far. Um, I play two Battle Fader. Um, I don't know. I just don't like three. Uh, I think two is enough. Um, I might move it up to three just because the format's looking pretty uh, dumb with Samurai's always winning. So, But yeah. Uh, two Mobius. Um, really like this card. It's really good, especially against all the backfields and everything right now. And if you can get it off, it can single-handedly like, win you the game almost. Um, Lane Darkness Dragon. Um, this guy is really key, this format, I think. He gets over so many uh, options. Um, your opponent has to waste so many resources on him, especially since there's only one book floating around now. Uh, there's just so many cards that just get shit on by this card. So, um, and also this card combos with the uh, the tech card I was telling you guys about, um, and I'll get to that after a while. Uh, three swap frogs, staple, broke most broken card in the deck by far. Um, I play one glow up bulb just like the guy from YCS. Um, it I agree with him. It's really good. It opens up plays for a dead one for one. Um, it also gives you a free tribute thing, uh, just in case you can't, this case your tribute gets removed or something, or just in, just in the situations you normally wouldn't have a tribute, he's free for you. Uh, one Ronin Toten, obvious staple. Um, one Effect Veiler, really good, stops big pushes, uh, stops big plays, stops Samurai's first turn, stops a lot of different things. So, uh, I play one Tregodia. I love this card in this deck, especially if I open up with like semi-dead hand, but I still have him in my hand, I can still have an out for it. It's basically works the same way as Gore's, except it's a lot, a little bit more of a uh, less devastating card than Gore's, but still pretty devastating, especially if you get it off early game, because they have to waste all the resources on it, and then you can start going off with your Monarchs, so. And his effects are uh, really, really good for Monarchs, because I can steal their monsters. If, like, let's say I play against plants and they have a token, I can steal their token and then do whatever by discarding like a Treeborn or something. Um, I play one sand game. That's to help me search out Reaper, um, Fishborg, uh, swap, mainly all the main cards in the deck. Uh, I mainly swap, uh, search out Reaper with him. Um, just because I, I don't, usually when I get this, I'll usually sack it for a Kai's or something, because once they know second game or something that I'm playing against Monarchs, I'll usually set it and they won't attack it, thinking it's a Ronin. So, um, then I play one Gors. So, Gors is obvious. He's a really, really, uh, devastating card, especially if you do it late game. Um, he can single handedly win you the game too. So, um, but yeah, that's the monsters um, for spells. One monster reborn, um, one dark hole. I was not playing this originally. Um, I like this card a lot now, just because uh, 
against Fossil Dyna, it kind of wrecks his face, and Fossil Dyna really kills the deck. So, and yeah. yeah. So, Giant Trunade, obvious. One for one. Um, card's obvious. Uh, you really. It's good for, like, all your, like, early pushes and stuff, I guess. Like, you can go with, like, uh, Formula Synchron and all that really easily with it. Um, my tech card that I've been running is uh, Instant Fusion. Um, card's really, really good in here, surprisingly, just because the the Synchro factor with it. Like, if I go into a um, into a Formula Synchron and then I go into this, um, if they don't stop this, I get a free uh, monster, and then I can Synchro with it, too. And then I don't have to waste a Tribute for the turn. So... And it's also really, really good with Light and Darkness, and I'll explain why when I get to my Synchros. So, but this card's really, really good in here. Um, basically, if they don't stop that with Solemn Morning, I'm going to get a lot more pluses on it than a lot, than uh, just summoning another guy. So, um, it acts like another, like, soul exchange in a way, too. So, um, play one pot of Avarice just to refuel my, my deck up. Um, obviously, really, really good. Foolish Burial, dropping Fishborgs, Treeborn, uh, Gloat Bulb. Um, I play three soul exchanges. Uh, I really like you have to play three now, just because of all the all the uh, dinas and all the uh, hate going around for like special summons and everything like that. And especially with first turn starters with Dragoonies, you have to play this card. So um, I play three enemy controllers. This card's obvious. It's an easy brain control and it's free for this deck. So um, that's spells. I'll go to my side deck. I play two Cyber Dragons um, for against Heroes, uh, Machina, um, Car Curry, just all sorts of stuff like that. So I play those two. Um, two Puppet Plants for against Samurais, um, two Electric Virus. A lot of people that play Monarchs don't play this, and I don't know why. This card's really, really good. It good it's good against uh, Car Curry, it's good against Dragoonities, it's, it's just really good against Machines and Dragons in general. Um, especially if they go first turn starters, you pitch this, take their start, oh, summon Vanny's Fiend, go. Like, <laughs> uh, I play one Burial from a different dimension just to refuel my graveyard, that's for second game. Um, I play two Lightning Vortex, this is to get over Fossil Dinas and anything I really don't like. Like, mainly just for, like, the, um, the hero matchup and, uh, um, Samurais and, uh, just anything that slides in Fossil, really, because Fossil kind of kills the deck. Um, two MSTs, obvious. Two trap stuns. Get over Solemn Morning and every bad trap like Mask Restricts and everything. So, um, and two Dust Tornadoes for the same reason. Um, stopping your Grenadies, uh, Field Spell's pretty key too. So, um, that's the side deck. And for the Synchros, it's three Formula Synchron. It's obvious. Armory Arm. Cataster. And for the card that I bring out off of Instant Fusion, I play Reaper on the Nightmare. The reason I play this card is for the fact that if I get it off, if I attribute Light and Darkness with this card, um, and Light and Darkness somehow, like, let's say they saw a Morning or something, I bring back this card. Because uh, off Instant Fusion, he is uh, Fusion Summoned off that, so you can bring him back. And uh, they have to waste more options on this card now. It's like playing... Uh, a bigger Reaper that has a better that has a better effect. So, because you can attack directly with them, even if your opponent has a monster, and still discard a card. So they have to worry about that along with trying to get over a monster that can't die. So, and then they have to waste the resources on this instead of wasting them on my monarchs and stuff. So, all right, that's that. Um, Brionic, obvious. I play this card because he gets over Stardust. Um, Black Rose, Fortress Dragon, uh, Colossal. Um, I think this card's one of the best synchros in the format right now, just because of all the uh, targeting effects that we have, like Gemini Sparks, etc. Um, Scrap Dragon, one Stardust Dragon, and one Shooting Star Dragon. I really don't like this card. Um, I'm thinking about taking it out for a Dark End. I just haven't decided really yet. So, um, Other than that, uh, that's the deck, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Um, just post your comments and stuff in the description below or whatever. And also remember to um, just sub to my friend Levi Legend. Really good player. Um, yeah, I'll have his annotation up for you guys. So, But yep, yeah, this is Mr. Amtrash. And uh, goodbye, guys. Subscribe.